Uh, hi, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. This is Nisha and Mrs. Wild Tarot. <laughs> I heard don't be afraid to sing anyway. So somebody don't want you guys to use your voice because I have bum 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 but ba -da bum bum. Anyways, I was up there dancing. I was getting this stuff together, but we're gonna see who your hand double is in your life, okay? Who this person is. <laughs> And then I was going to do the fuck shit deck and stuff too. Oh, so those who want to know what I got that deck from, all right, which people are asking me, I ain't got time to be putting them in the comments. Uh, King Aloha Taros is the, who I got this deck from. All right. <laughs> the private eye deck I'm going to use, okay? All right, so we're going to do all zodiac signs too. Well, I'm going to do a general, then I'm going to go to all zodiac signs. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get the general feel because that's a buy. All right, please drop a like, share, and comment, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> All right, so we have here three of ones. Okay, some of you guys, the person that's there, like y'all here in double is somebody that's patiently waiting. Okay, uh, patiently waiting for something to fall in your life to stop for you not to get your fruits, your dreams. Okay, um, we got Aries energy here, but Aries usually like waiting on your shipments to come in, looking forward to the things that you have predicted, the insight and everything. So this person that's like hiding here, they secretly waiting, okay? It could be a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo that could be your hidden enemy or something or your hidden devil in your life because we got the nine. So this could be somebody that's secretly desiring you guys, waiting to be with you with this nine of ones energy at the bottom, Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Yeah, but unless somebody's waiting on your guys' downfall, okay? So that's that's already what's going on, okay? <sighs> For a Pentecost, this person is greedy. That's secretly your enemy. We got Capricorn energy, and I feel like when this person come around, they slimy, sticky, and greasy, and you just like, ugh, you can feel my ass this cold, okay? This person probably got warts, general warts, warts on their face, okay? Acne. Um, anyway, so yeah, I think is it a toll frog? I think if you catch them, depending on what they say they do, they pee on you. Then was the story they told us when we was a kid. I used to catch frogs and stuff. But anyway, so this person is greedy. They're your secret the enemy because um this person act like they're patient, but in reality, this person is waiting for you guys to have some type of hardship. Okay, so we got this Sagittarius energy underneath this four of pentacles and three of one. So I feel like it's a hand person behind this person that's pulling the string, like, you know, the puppet master, whatever. All right, we have here, nine, wow, ten of swords and nine of swords. Yeah, wow, this motherfucker is the devil. It, it ain't got to be the devil, but yeah, this person may have made many a tips on you guys' life. Look at this shit. This is Gemini energy. You guys could be a Gemini. You could be these signs. It don't matter. The energy is whoever this secret double in y'all life was. Um, they were waiting or they are waiting for the finale. Okay. Something to end. They waiting for you, to, but they like waiting in anticipation. Like Charlie in a chocolate factory, the anticipation is killing me. Like somebody is like anticipating some type of downfall with you guys and they ass can't sit on the seat. Right. It could be a Leo for some of you guys with the sun card in reverse. Fuck it. I've seen it. So this is somebody you could have kids with or somebody that's young and youthful or somebody that's been stealing a lot from you guys or trying to. All right. So anyway, we have here the three of cups. Yeah, somebody definitely greedy and they like a pig stein. Okay. So this person is unorganized. <laughs> All right, so they waiting to celebrate 33, okay? So this could be a builder or this could be someone that's built, been building up to anticipation to see what's going to happen. All right, or this could have been building in anticipation as well. We have here Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Um, this person is like watching the time. This remind me of the uh the Skaskis, <laughs> the movie and shit. Oh my god, with Gentle Deek. Gentle Deek had a lot of power though. She was so sweet and she was always kind. All right, but then her sister Settle Dunn, Settle Down, Settle Dunn was a bitch, and she was like she followed the rules with this movie to the T to the point she she turned her own mama in or something shit. And like man, that girl was crazy. All right. <laughs> The Skeskis or whatever them damn big ugly birds or uh pterodactyls, big ass nose, pigeon motherfuckers was um really uh acting like they was helping the Skeksy. But this person could come off <laughs> um like they helpful to you guys. 
that's y'all secret devil and they was really like ciphering the energy from the crystal in this movie and they were killing the planet okay and the agra agra her ass went to sleep studying the stars and shit <laughs> so gentle dick had to go and go to middle earth and get help okay this person like that yeah this person is dangerous all right so some of y'all have a very dangerous uh hidden enemy that guy that's giving you guys the evil eye and this is so fucked up because it's definitely going along with the storyline this is somebody that's coming or this one this is someone that act like they want to help you guys oh you know everything is fine how are you doing you know even like push the card up to your door and casing your house out okay it's like the young man that helped the old woman in her house and when she go he gonna steal some shit. sorry that's what i think so some some people come off like that and this person is not helping online some of you guys there's somebody doing it online okay somebody is like coming in like patronizing you or helping you with your business act like they care trying to steal your shit. all right <laughs> let's see so this is a devil yeah this is like uh admiration that turns to envy and hate all right because we got admiration coming out we got helpful but in all of this this person is dangerous okay so this person is um high none of profile of course we are ooh, we for my tarot card readers out there for my people that got business this person is sponsoring you guys okay <laughs> yes okay big 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 yeah um, they probably always abandon your car. It's like somebody, you know how they supposed to pay for it. And they were like, oh, this person didn't pay. They canceled it because I got abandoned car, abandonment. <laughs> I put it with like, if they online sponsoring you guys and they supposed to be paying for a product, this person to pay for the product, but they ask for their refund back because they really hate you. So you may see it go through, but then all of a sudden they asking for a refund. Crazy people, you know, only online though. I mean, it could be in real life, but you know maybe this person is trying you might feel this and stuff there's something this person be saying to you guys that y'all need to pay attention to yeah but surveillance we got hacker top secret sponsor so this is like secrets um what they call it secret shoppers all right people that secretly um yeah because i was reading that with somebody shit. Well, i'll be reading all this shit. i do my investigation too and people don't think you don't know and shit. and i was like hmm all right, so let's actually get some zodiac sign. I'll be reading up on shit. I'd be like, yep. I know exactly who the fucking corporates are. I know exactly who's doing that shit. You just don't have to say anything. <laughs> Keep smiling. Piss their asses off. Make it big. Kodak smile. All right, I'm a Kodak kid. Yeah. <laughs> we got Vista. Okay. Oh, the reason they mad at you guys because you're beautiful, okay? Or y'all not a hoe, all right? For real, hmm. Because this is saying that somebody is keeping themselves to somebody, all right? You are, like, really taking care of your body. Mm. God is within the scare spiritual center of quiet dignity, okay? Yeah, so ooh, who is this? They like they want you guys to be out busting it open, okay? So you're, this could be a party sister, family, whoever it is, somebody that's wild and you're not. And this person, like, so upset not a hoe all right so vista okay some of y'all keeping your legs low so this person that's like y'all hand devil is like you know they they in that industry and that's all i'm gonna say y'all know what the industry is okay pop lock and drop it. <laughs> all right we have here the third house okay so they could be um only fans okay so you're doing something dignified like me tarot cards right and they're up there showing their titties for a dollar okay sorry that's what they got going on this person that's hanging on you guys are selling their goodies on the internet and they're looking at you in envy like man maybe they are getting a lot of money but it's it's self deprecated what is it uh what's that word i'm trying to find anyways it's not good so the way they make their money versus the way you guys make y'all money whoever this is is secretly hanging on you guys because yeah they got to sell that ass or some type of way they got to sell information all right or they they selling information okay <laughs> so they could be like patronizing you guys and looking at y'all behind the scenes especially if you guys have like patrons and you guys have other type of little private groups and they trying to see if if like if you're in a public eye like me behind the scenes with your other groups are you really hoeing or are you really showing off something what else are you doing but you guys are not doing anything okay three of uh with vista showing up okay so this person is looking 
to see like and say, uh-huh, I knew your ass was a hoe or uh-huh, I knew you was selling some pussy. <laughs> Thank you, Divine Feminine, <laughs> for the super chat <laughs> we have here, but your potential leads you somewhere. So this person is learning, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, so they they like uh, they could be friend requesting you guys under different profiles because this card say learning your um, learning your neighborhood or something local. All right, so this could be somebody that's locally close to you guys that's a hen devil in your life. But I feel like this is a hen social media person. Okay, they on social media looking at your ass and they got the wrong idea because their ass is wounded. Okay, here is having healed from some type of trauma in their life. And you guys may have experienced the same trauma, unbeknownst to you, especially if you like me telling your story. And this person feels offended at the fact that, you know, if y'all both was raped, how the fuck did you come up out of it so much better, okay? And you know, they fucked up and you over there sin dignified. That's exactly what I'm saying. Male or a woman, okay? Uh, they have to sell drugs and you created a business, okay? So they have to do the street drugs and you actually created a brick and mortar or something. Some Same background, but different stories, right? This is y'all here, enemy. All right, we got Pisces energy. So a lot of behind the fucking scenes as well. It could be a Pisces. All right, Pisces rules prisons. All right, so some of these people are in actual lockdown that's watching you guys, you know, because people in prison can get phones. <laughs> I knew a couple in 2010 and 11 and stuff or was it, that was locked down. And I was like, how the fuck are you on this social profile and you in prison? They be like, you know, I'm locked up, baby girl. I be like, yeah, you know, I'm, like, I'm about to block your ass, baby boy. <laughs> but that ain't hurt everybody. But that's just how I feel. But with the Pisces energy, it could be a Pisces that's secretly um, y'all devil or a devil in you guys' life. Okay, all right. <laughs> I don't know, but people be all on this shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. Lockdown coming. Yeah, so energy is wishful, endless, loving, compassionate, forgiving, and confusing, and uh, confuses and soft. And so this is somebody also behind the scenes doing chaos magic and shit, trying to confuse you. Yeah, because when we said sponsor, what was it? Sponsor? Uh, very helpful, but dangerous, okay? So this could be a dangerous-ass Pisces that's sponsoring people, okay? Um, wealthy, probably. They got enough money to go around, but this person is dangerous, all right? This person comes off like this person is like a, what they call it, unusual suspect, all right? With that Pisces energy, very ether, or they mad at you guys because y'all look like that. They're like, you look like a mermaid. You're pretty or something, shit. I don't know how y'all look, but they got to go deep sea diving. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> Stop fucking with people. All right, we have here Eclipse and Eclipse and Aries. Oh my God, y'all heard that <laughs> collaboration. So some of you guys, this person is secretly hating on you guys, or now they're your devil, okay? Because you decided to turn down a collaboration. As creators, we should have the right to say yes or no. But you know, you offend people when you like, you know, I just want to work by myself. And then you get these motherfucking critters coming out of the ground on your ass because you said no. I like to do my own job and I like to work by myself. So now you guys got somebody here roaming, all right, in the background trying to taint your personality because you just said no. You put you could have said it politely. I don't know. You could have been an asshole about it, but no, it's just one sentence, but people don't understand. So Aries energy. <laughs> We got the beginning and the end. Okay, so the shit was fucked up from the beginning to the end. Aries to Pisces. <laughs> we got the first sign and the last sign. So somebody is also secretly envious of your look, okay, or how you look or how you boost yourself up or your self-confidence, okay, it Eclipse and Aries, okay, or the fact that you can get along with a lot of people or your connectedness or exclusive, okay, so yeah, some people want to be involved, okay? You're not in the it crowd, okay? Somebody could be upset about that, or you're a long wolf. It's, it doesn't matter. But with this Aries energy and collaboration, somebody wanted to get in. Somebody couldn't get in or some shit. So they pissed off. Moon and Capricorn of your accomplishments, okay? I think somebody got a voodoo doll on my ass. <laughs> I just got pricked in my leg. <laughs> 
<laughs> we have scaled the mountains, okay? And I'm going to watch that new horror story movie or some shit. All right, to uh, achievement, moon and Capricorn. So some of you guys is somebody that got moon and Capricorn or somebody that wanted to achieve more than you, okay? Or they feel, um, yeah, this is on social media. So I feel like it's like competition here. In your own lane, we got Moon and Libra. A lot of you guys are very loved or beloved or okay, or somebody's jealous of your relationship because you know how them people, the creators, be putting their relationship on TV, them and their boyfriend, okay? I am about to say Jim and Jones, but it really don't matter. This person could be, be completely upset or like y'all secret devil because you are happily married in a relationship. This person could be married, but you got love or you are loved. You're the empress here. We got the empress and then we got the vista here. All right. Then we have a lot of work in social media stuff. So yeah, these people are mad at you guys because you're accomplished. You collab uh you didn't want to collaborate with them, or you did, or uh, you know, you declined to offer. This is all online though, with the third house, or it's something in your neighborhood. You didn't want to do business with the local man at the shop. Now he's looking at you funny every time you open the door and you're like, mm, this motherfucker, there she go. <laughs> Turn down my business. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you people be having whole type of fucking issues okay but it's so covert because this person actually is like they may have came in your your face every day and like did business with you but the moment you say okay i don't want to actually partner up with you is when this person kind of lost it okay and now they on now they uh damn i keep dropping everything now they on a hell bent uh now they help bent on these trying to destroy you guys life and shit and i had just adjusted everything <laughs> okay 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 let's get the evil eye deck out so generally y'all anyways from the beginning to the end <laughs> so like people are really be trying to fuck up people uh they style they sense of self <laughs> they do. all right i'm gonna go ahead and look okay give y'all some information on who's doing this all right so the combination is going to be funny aries Stick around. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> ah. All right, so Aries, we have here. So this this hidden enemy of yours, Aries. Okay. This hidden enemy is um attack. All right, targeted you and they trying to man so this person is like trying to manifest back in so they could like uh hurt you or something, okay? So we have health, someone trying to negatively affect your health, either mentally or physically. So this could be a bunch of trolls if it's not physical. All right. We have targets. Someone think you hurt them and they mad. Maybe you roasted somebody. You talked about them. Okay. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> All right. So now they're seeking not to get revenge on you guys because the overall thing is social media. Okay. So this could be somebody that is literally like following you and shit. And then we have manifest manifestation work. So your hand enemy is somebody that's doing work on you, trying to manifest you as well. That this devil, this devil. <laughs> oh shit. It's somebody you didn't want to work with. Okay. Rejection is God protection. All right. So boom. And it's your co-worker. All right. It could be a lover. Bitch, boom. Get out the way. So yeah. So now somebody got you on all CCTV. All right. <laughs> And we got rejection, co-worker, and heartbreaker, okay? So they heartbroken, okay? You broke somebody's heart. You made somebody feel some type of way. And they's like, oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right, so let's see what else going on with this person. What's, what, why this person love upset with you? Well, they, well, we see why you hurt somebody's feelings. All right, 10 of Pentacles. Yeah, because somebody thought they was going to get down. All right, so the Empress is upside down. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, and then we have here the Three of Swords. Yeah, Libra energy, uh, Virgo energy, <laughs> and the Empress is like upside down. So this person is uh, your hand enemy because you are you're out creating them. All right, <laughs> all right, and you got you all making that like you building a legacy. So this person wanted to work with you, build some with you, and I guess you like now. Nah, you cut their asses out because you knew something could be a family member we have the three of swords yeah somebody poking something all right somebody could have something of you i feel like this person is a fallen angel or this person is mm -mm. they come off sweet but they ask she got black wings and shit well then we got the empress okay so yeah this person definitely upset about your heart yeah or you got the empress 
Ah, that's what it is too for some of you guys. <laughs> somebody, somebody has the emperor or the empress, but we have love. Okay, somebody also may have secretly loved you guys, or this is someone that's in love with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that motherfucker looking at her like, what are you doing? <laughs> Venus, Virgo. Scorpio. So some of y'all, y'all here, enemy is a ver uh, somebody that got Venus and Virgo, Venus and Scorpio, or they could be these signs as well. Okay. <laughs> um, I do feel like you guys are very fruitful. Or you coming into a lot of harvest. So this person, <laughs> you're beautiful too. Okay. So somebody is envious of so your look. Uh huh. This person is intense, intensely fucking with you. <laughs> I feel like if you seen this person though, I feel like you would have clowned this person or something. You just said something about this person. You could have said this person was a bandit, or this person was stinky, or this person was a coward. You probably said something to this person. Now they feel in some type of way, okay? Uh, with that raccoon and shit, they eat off the trunk. Uh, what's them garbage pail kids and shit? You know them fucked up little collector. But yes, uh huh. Let's go, Taurus. Who your hand enemy? <laughs> This hidden devil in your life. This uh, this person that you just like won't can't get rid of. Some of you guys, this person that is y'all hidden enemy actually um trying to infect you with an STD. I ain't got time. Oh, it don't even matter who this is for y'all towards they nasty, okay? But I'm gonna tell you because I seen the STD cards, so spiritual demons and whatever the fuck. But, but look at these cards for you guys. So I don't know who fucking with y'all, but they better stop fucking with y'all. All right, because y'all are definitely protected, okay? I feel like this is, um, yeah, your your ancestors that came right all the way through and say, don't fuck with the Taurus, okay? Because you're going to get your ass smacked and whatever. <laughs> um, but we have here somewhere around you guys are doing white um, uh, magic and secret to help you guys. So I feel like a lot of people, okay, it could be people like you guys online that love me, okay? Your people around you guys know that you have a lot of demons around y'all. And then you had the divine coming through time about don't even worry about it. Well, whoever doing this bullshit to you guys, this devil in your life, we already protecting you. We can see what you can't see and we cutting it off and we returning that shit back to cinder as well. Ten times, fuck three times. <laughs> Get back. All right. So let's see what else going on. Wow. So some of you guys have a lot of support in the spiritual realms. Okay. Physical uh, It's people that got your back. And I feel like because, I mean, the card that was like coming through and I cut was STD. But this could be somebody that's infected or something or it was trying to affect you guys unbeknownst to you. Take your um, your right to choose away. I hate when people hate people right to choose away. Give me a choice. All right. We got dishonesty. We have here Capricorn, older person in school. And what the hell was that? Oh, I did fall. False divine, oh, false divine, masculine or feminine. Okay, so they getting their ass whooped in the spiritual realm. Bit, bit, bit all across your head. Da, bing, bing, bing. Like what happened though? <laughs> I thought this was this. Okay, so we got dishonest. So whoever this is, your hand enemy, the hand Capricorn. All right, so these could be people that watch you in the public eye, or this can actually be a Capricorn. Okay, and then we have here. Older person in school, so you got a schoolmate hanging on you, okay, top secretly, and then we got a uh, divorce by masculine or feminine, okay, so someone that's not even on your level, get on my level, <laughs> so yeah, this person, yeah, they, they want to ruin you, but it's not going to happen, not today, Captain, okay, so this person got you guys on high surveillance, or this person, um, yeah, this person got y'all under high surveillance, uh-huh, but I feel like you know this, okay? So, yeah, they procrastinating, yeah, because they know they're going to get bust in their head. So, somebody is rethinking what they're about to do to you, okay? Because look at this. So, you have a hen, a, a hen enemy that's not coming towards you because they like, you know what? I might need to re-strategize. I might not want to do that shit, okay? Um, but they're procrastinators. So, you wonder why, like, somebody always lingering or, yeah, because they're trying to plot on your ass, okay? This person is older too, so wow. Capricorn, um, Ruth Saturn. All right, so you know Saturn. This is an old person too. This could be somebody, you know, grandma or mother or I just gotta say that or father that also is like secretly 
um, has been doing shit to you guys, okay? Or your grandma or your parents is all there uh, that's white lighters that's working for y'all. But anyways, we're looking at your hen devil. And hey, Capricorn rules the devil for you, Taurus, okay? So, you know, somebody is doing like binding work on you, binding you, trying to keep binding you to them and you keep breaking it or something. All right, let's see here. Capricorn again. This person don't want you to be successful. All right. <laughs> <laughs> or these people okay let's see what else is going on we have here 10th house i was just about to say that so some of you guys the co-worker okay that's your co-worker right there coming through with your job all right somebody don't want you to reach the pinnacle of your life somebody doesn't want you to have this breakthrough because he is on top of the moon okay sitting on top of the moon top of the world top of the world somebody don't want you to be on top of the world all right, so they secretly trying to keep, make sure you guys stay down. All right, we have Moon and Libra. And then we have here, like, so somebody secretly hating on your relationships. And Moon and Sagittarius, discovery. So some of you guys might actually discover this shit about this person, okay? That's secretly hating on you guys. That's procrastinating. This person is trying to stop your flow of money as well and your abundance and the fact that you are going to be expanding. Uh-huh. But the light bulb is turning on. I feel like you guys already know this. Uh, yeah, she got some eyeballs in the back here, okay? I don't know what's going on. Two eyeballs is there, okay? So this person may have got some type of collectible of yours and doing something with that shit, okay? But yeah, your achievements, your status, your love, all right, your relationship, your freedom to be advanced, like lift off. Like, yeah, you guys, you guys are about to discover something or you guys are about to astronaut why the hell am i getting a cia okay nasa all right so some of y'all are intelligent and brilliant and some of you guys it's an agency out there that sees this in you guys and they are the one that's like slowing your progression down behind the scenes okay because you should either be further in your career your your creativity or something as well this is what i'm getting with this type of energy okay um because shit this motherfucker is going to the to the moon like you should be lifting off so someone is trying to keep you on the ground all right whoever this motherfucker is and it's an older person so they must be intimidated by your strength or something here but you good okay and healing energy is at the bottom yeah these motherfuckers is crazy oh gemini let's see <laughs> gemini what's going on Oh, I forgot the other three cards for y'all, but that, fuck it. All right, we have instant karma. So this person, <laughs> they stupid. So every time they do something to you, they get karma, but they can't help it, okay? <laughs> they keep doing it. All right, so this person is getting instant karma on you. Uh, this person is like doing things behind you guys, but you keep getting karma. All right, protection. All right, so some of you guys may have had to put a uh, protection order on this person, but they want you to know that the hen enemy or the hen devil behind the scene for you, Gemini, you're protected, okay? And then we have here toxic fixation. Yeah, somebody's fixated on your health, your prosperity, your well-being, okay? Someone, uh, someone is attracted to your light and they seek to dim it, okay? I bet. They trying to burn your fire out okay they're trying to like knock your ass out and stop you all right you are protected whatever they got planned it will not work okay no finito finito get the fuck up out of here <laughs> y'all know i'll be mixing shit up to mix mixed language mixology okay so this person could have been mixing some type of toxic remedy okay on oh, y'all asses <laughs> this person is crazy okay they, they fixated on you I got my eyes on you, Gemini, okay? But they got their eyes on you with your health, wealth, and happiness, okay? Low vibes, low level, demon shit, and stuff. Gay or bisexual, past love. For some of you guys, this person is gay or bisexual and they're a past lover. Um, that's your, uh, yeah. That's a clown. All right, so they could be trying to drop a video on y'all. I don't know if y'all did any videos out there, okay? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I should say that. It's a... We have switch out. Yeah, somebody is uh, trying to make. Okay, so somebody dropping something and they trying to say it's you, Gemini, but it's not. Oh, this person is clever. That's why they said, don't even worry about it. They're going to be like, hey, look at that picture. That's Gemini. No, that's a switch out. That ain't you. And that's your auntie. Okay, playing. Okay, 
you know, like, mm -mm. I think she had a mole right there. That girl right there ain't got no mole, okay? Who this twin is going to be? All right, so, or uncle, it don't matter, but y'all got auntie in here, all right, trying to do some bullshit. So some of y'all are the hand person in your life, okay? The devil, the person that's trying to tie you guys down or always doing shit to you guys, okay? Is a, a family member. The family member could be gay or they could be mad because you're gay. You know, you get it. A whole bunch of shit could be going on here with this person. All right, but <laughs> they trying to get secret videos of y'all too, okay? <laughs> so they could be like, look, look, look. But whatever they about to release or whatever they got going on, it's not you. Somebody is not the truth. All right, we have here Uranus, Scorpio, Leo, and Saturn. Yeah, this is definitely somebody older. It could be an older uncle, okay, <laughs> that you stop going down the same path. <laughs> they they like, oh, shit, you know, you learned your lessons, okay, or you stop listening to family or auntie or person because every time they give you information and end up going um, the other way or end up, like, changing compassion okay so someone is definitely upset about the um the how bright you sign some of you guys are healers okay energy workers and this person is upset about that so they you may be on low levels of energy because this person is always sending you guys some type of attack 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 but i feel like whoever this is because it's instant karma one of the things that keep happening today as they could be having back problems or um they could be having physical pains here and so they are definitely, um, so that's how you don't know too, because they could always be in their asses up in the hospital somewhere because they working on you, unbeknownst to you, okay? This hen devil in your life. We have here. <laughs> ah! We have here um, Uranus. All right, your potential is for sudden change, enlightenment, or awakening. Yeah, so I feel like this person <laughs> yeah, that shit. Whatever they do, it always go back on them. Then we got Scorpio. I, I don't know if you know every sign in your family. Okay, I'm using like a bunch of decks. The evil, most of these decks, but this one is from King Aloha, and I think I said in the beginning. And then I don't know these is zodiac signs, but this Scorpio is one of you guys' hand enemies. Of course, my wig is fake and my hair eyelashes are fake. I look beautiful, don't I? I look good. <laughs> I be laughing when people be saying stuff. Oh, I be like, yeah. And I was, but you know what? I ain't going to say that. Because <laughs> I was like, and I go to sleep when my head is bald, okay? <laughs> oh, shit. Gemini, let's see who y'all here enemy is, okay? <laughs> Yeah, the phoenix rising. So somebody's upset that you guys keep rising out the ashes from the bullshit they keep creating in your life. That's that Scorpio energy coming through for y'all. <laughs> oh, shit. That is so funny. Bring on the trolls. Yeah, they be trolling. Yeah, I know this energy. I have so much fun. So I feel like somebody secretly was been trying to affect your resources, okay? But somehow you keep coming out or somehow you keep getting resources like lightning strike and money is raining, okay? It's raining, man. Hallelujah. Y'all raining money, okay? So um, eighth house, other people money. Also, uh, your sexual organs, okay? This person could have been trying to affect you guys, okay? Give you an STD or whatever. But it ain't working, okay? So instant karma. Somebody could have gave their asses one. We have the victory strength card, Leo. Ooh, man, chosen, highly favored, and protected. Bam on your ass. So you guys are just winning. Somebody upset, okay? They hiding and they behind here. <laughs> uh, we have six to one. So I feel like this person that's up here that's hanging on you guys, they upset because you keep winning. And then we have here strength, fortitude. Yeah, keep going for it. And then we have here seven of ones. Okay, keep blocking that ass. You brave, they ass is not. It takes a lot. But I feel like, yeah, this person is old and stuff. And I feel like another thing is this person, they could end up getting an accident that secretly hanging on you. All right, they mad because uh, it's whoever this person is, either you, they mad because you, come, you came out, okay? You express it and you don't care with the switch out that's just what it is 
Cancer, let's see who is jealous of you and your secret hand devil in your life. Yeah, oh, it's a lot of spiritualists, people that spying on you, Cancer, that want to know what's going on, people that's in competition with you. Of course, always. These people, they just like be so upset. So some of you guys, there's somebody that's a secret devil in your life that was so tied to you. All right. They try to steal something from you as well. This person talk a lot. Talk a lot. <laughs> Let's see, Cancer. What's the hidden devil in your life? Okay. We got here competition, but we know that already because you guys do what y'all need to do. Okay. So someone, they competing with you. That's every reason they do this, okay? Return to sender, okay? Wrap that shit up in a nice little bowl back to their ass. Reckless, okay? So somebody here mad, okay? So they, they don't practice no healthy, um, healthy routine. Uh, with that PPP, okay? Personal protection gear, okay? Equipment that they need on. Somebody probably don't use condoms, all right? They don't wash their hands. They don't wash their ass. They just reckless. And this person, they got the evil eye on you guys secretly because you're looking good, okay? Someone's out of control and doing anything and everything without remorse, okay? At least that's what they're trying to do. <laughs> all right, so yeah, y'all got some reckless competitors, so they give up they stuff because they like, I got to beat you. I got to beat you, Cancer. So they, they end up wrecking. Chickity, check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> so these people are so funny to me because they are like really trying. They trying to outrun you. I love that video. It was trending on YouTube when the girl was out there and she was running and um, the other girls was talking. <laughs> and it was two white girls. They was laughing and talking. And the black girl, she went right past their ass and hit the finish line. Yep, it shows you when you fucking sleep or you lack up on some shit, somebody will run right past your ass. And that's exactly what they ass was doing. They were just chilling, like laughing. They thought they had it in a bag, okay? And she ran right past their ass. Whoop, right past the finish line. <laughs> that's what they mad because these people be sleeping or they be chit-chatting. And then you come out and you got some whole other shit going on. So your spirit guides are like, don't worry, though, because they return that back to him every single time. This is somebody that's separated from you, that's infatuated with you, Cancer. It's another Cancer. Wow. A female and a watcher. Okay. So, so <laughs> wow. This other person is in here watching. <laughs> Look at this. So separated, infatuated, cancer, female. All right. And then we have here, watcher. And cancer represents the family. So this could be your whole family that's competing, a whole bunch of women competing against you, watching you, a whole bunch of demons too. <laughs> devils that will target you, female devils. Like, oh my God, because you're so wholesome and sweet or you got it together or you are doing well. Also, there's somebody here that's separated or somebody here is like keeping fouls on you secretly as well. This devil. <laughs> So I know. Let's see what else is going on. Second house, some of y'all, because y'all get money. We have here tenth house because you own your shit. We got here the ninth house because you're spiritually adept. Okay, so we got Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius. All right. <laughs> Oh, shit. So these people that is like watching you guys, okay, your access, your finances, the things you value, all right, because you devoted to yourself, okay, and nobody else be wiser. And I feel like also these people that secretly your devils in your life is they, they're spiritually dead with the ninth house, okay? They don't have a life or a career with the tenth house. They don't know where they're going. They don't have any achievements, so they mad at you guys for achieving greatness in your life, all right, breakthroughs. Breakthroughs in a room. <laughs> so they up there like, I banish you, cancer. I banish you. <laughs> At least that's what they're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, but you just keep unleashing on the ass. Show them something new. Let's give them something to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. Throw some more shit up on your yes. Look, sprinkle me, baby. Unleash your creativity. So these people are mad because every time they try to stop you guys, the competition, here you coming up with a whole new ideal on that ass. Okay, bam. <laughs> now think about it. Watch me now, little baby. <laughs> 
So they rusty asses. They dusty, rusty, and again, retired while you keep coming up with new ideals. That's why they secretly devils in your life. All right. <laughs> they need some um, oil. All right. <laughs> the knees is crackling. <laughs> The bones is sh shivering. <laughs> ah, they like this motherfucker. Yeah, you would be victorious, okay? Yeah, they patiently waiting. Could be a Leo. Uh-huh. They waiting for you that money to stop fl flowing in, okay? We got six of uh, ones, victory for you. We got here the three of ones, patience, okay? And then we got the six of pentacles, generosity, okay? Bam. They, they secretly mad because you keep getting paid. Or with the Six of Pentacles, karmic debt, you meant to have this, okay? <laughs> so it's a, it could be your placements, okay? Some people have placements where you're going to be victorious. Venus and Leo, Pisces, North Node, Aquarius, North Node, Risings, okay? Some of you just ain't going to lose. And this person, these people, because we got competition, so these are your competitors that's ruthless, okay? That's watching you and mad because you got it like that. That is so funny. All right, so Leo, let's see who's messing with you. Some of y'all, this is somebody that's jealous because you got the magic stick. <laughs> magic. If I can hit once, I can hit twice. I show you magic. <laughs> so some of them was trying to do sex on you guys, okay? <laughs> so your hand devil's here, Leo. Let's see. The devil's in your life. Devil, get up off me. Oh, some of y'all, yes. Somebody mad because you escaped that ass. Somebody here was trying to affect you guys, okay? Dealing with sexually transmitted demons out there. All right, diseases. Be careful someone you're courting or dealing with has a lot of energetic burns or dark entities. All right, lesions. Yeah, these people, they like, fuck, we got to take you down. All right, so a legion of demonic spirit has been dished back to attack you through your people around you. So you're like, what the fuck? I go to the store. This motherfucker is demonic, okay? <laughs> you got the public eye. And then we have here abandonment. Yeah, because you abandoned something, an ideal. All right, a lot of people feel abandoned by you or this person does. That's the devil, a secret devil in your life. They also got the evil eye on you guys, okay? And they not liking it. The people are like, why you leave me? Okay. This person could be like, why you leave me? It, it's a bunch of people. You like all oh, you motherfuckers crazy. <laughs> we got spiders and, and all type. These people are coming in with all type of shit. All right. Yeah, we got spiders, vampires, demons. Okay. <laughs> Succubus, spirits, all type of motherfucking fucked up people coming up towards you. And you're like, nope, you know, you ducking and you dodging, like, uh uh, catch you later. <laughs> you're not going to get me stuck. <laughs> yeah, protection. Some of them want you guys not to be protected as well. <laughs> uh, we have here gifter and dishonesty. And we have best friend, and we got soul ties. Yeah, you broke a soul tie with somebody. So now they're upset about you breaking a soul tie, but you protect it, okay? So a lot of people are secretly still attached, okay? Sorry, baby, for you. Can't get none more. We have dishonesty and best friends. Some of you guys are going to, uh, it could be a best friend that feel this way about you guys, secretly hating on you, okay? Because you're not giving them nothing no more, or you're not being generous and kind, all right? So the people are mad. <laughs> Let's see here. Hey, just chatting. Hey, Marley Jane. <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah, it's somebody here upset too because you guys don't want to give them sex. Somebody missing that good shit, okay? You dod dodge the bullet here. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, sexual art. Yeah, you got that magic. Oh my God, that magic home, home, that magic penis and magic land, but nobody gets it. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I'll be having too much fun. I'll be like cracking up. I'm like, uh uh. I do. I always report them. <laughs> I'll be showing you magic. <laughs> we have here Eclipse and Libra. So some of you guys, is leave, it's a Libra or somebody upset that you guys have a wonderful relationship. It's like you cut somebody off and they're upset because you knew they asses was like, 
they they had a lot of demonic people on them. They have a lot of energetic burns on them. We had a third house. All oh, these people on social media broken, okay, that you guys keep in your sexual energy. Because, you know, if you're not having sex with anybody, you can take that energy and you can put it into a business that you can create. All right. And then we got the 10th house. Yeah, a lot of these people are upset because you're doing good. You're doing so good. <laughs> Let's get one more card. But we have achievement. So some of you guys are being achieved. Yeah, 6th house. Oh, and we have him, Mars. All right. Some of you guys, yeah. Somebody was trying to attack you guys' health. Okay, with the 6th house and Mars. Definitely. Somebody's upset because you guys think, um, didn't fall for the okie doke is what I'm saying. All right, so the area around health and house and third house. So a lot of these people mad because <laughs> they ass is infected, okay? It's like the virus and got they asses, okay? <laughs> and now they coming towards you guys. <laughs> and so they secretly mad. And this is people on social media, okay, that you trigger or, you know, just by looking at you doing really, really well is what I'm seeing. And you're going on to the next um, level. Like, nobody can't say anything about you. They can only assume we have the hermit. Yep, because you guys are introspective. We have the, yeah, you saving your shit. <laughs> the ace of ones, yeah. We got Virgo and another Leo coming through. But look what you got. You guys protect your energy. So these people will be mad and stuff because they can't get any. <laughs> yes, this is so crazy. But look at them. They like, I really want to know what you're doing, Leo. You're taking the energy that you're not giving out sexually and you're creating business or you're creating ideals or you put it into something that you think spirit is creating with you too. All right. And just your fortitude, your a lot of people secretly don't like how strong you are and the fact that um, the compromise or the things they did or have tried to compromise in your relationship, you just have ended it because eclipse rebalance. So, so a lot of these people are chemically imbalanced. <laughs> All right. Uh, it could be a best friend, too, for some of y'all or someone that comes off like somebody that would be your friend. They mad because their life is going down in shambles and they could be secretly competing with you, Leo. All right. Let's see. Virgo, let's go. Let's go, Virgo. Let's go. I have to have to block that damn soul. I ain't got time. Because <laughs> I know these people be up here upset. <laughs> They be watching your ass. I watch it so much. I be seeing so much, but it's like, what's the point? That's not my energy. I just want to be up here roasting these people any damn way. I right, pity party. Yeah, these people are so pathetic. That's watching you guys secretly. The devils in your life, Virgo, they just like come to you crying, po'o me. I'm so suffering. They want you to fall for that shit. All right. So someone's going through a tough time. They want you to experience the same shitty ass experience that life they having. Okay. Because they can't get it together. <laughs> Put on your big boy pants or your big girl pants. All right, so, yep, these, these people are pathetic and pitiful. All right, we have here competition and so reckless. So these people are upset because you actually got a plan and they don't. <laughs> and they're competing with you and they keep losing. <laughs> I'll be like, what the heck? <laughs> so, yep, let's see who they hand people. So a lot of these, are, these people are already, like, doing evil eye on you guys okay trying to uh outrun you but you building something slowly <laughs> the foundation i can't wait <laughs> interference from your family so a lot of y'all family trying to stop y'all okay damn that's fucked up that's the first card that fell out all right so so y'all hitting enemies of your whole family they mad because you're good at something a male, a loyal time waster. Okay. Oh, and then we have one more teacher. All right. So some of you guys, these could be your students or your own damn teacher or somebody that's just a time waster. Okay. You can't teach these people shit. All right. They're wasting your time. So if people coming to you trying to uh get your information or learn your secrets, they wasting your time. They just want to know. They trying to get case files on you guys, but I feel like you already know this. All right, but a lot of you guys is like hidden. It's a male here. All right, that's a hen, uh, double in your life. And then we have a lot of family here for you guys, okay? Anyways, so yeah, they have targeted you. 
these fake gurus. <laughs> How are you doing it, Virgo? Why are you successful, Virgo? What are you doing right, Virgo? No, that's not the question they ask, and they they doing the opposite. <laughs> All right, so we have a cancer, so it could be cancers that's doing this to you, but we do got your family coming up, okay? So a lot of people that's coming from broken homes and stuff. We have here the moon, and this shit is in reverse, okay? <laughs> Pisces energy. All right, we have here the 12th house in reverse. Damn, another Pisces energy. So these people need to be in the same house. Uh, they need to be somewhere behind with a white coat on, all right? Because I feel like they doing shit to you guys that you can't help them with. We have sun and Aquarius. All right, ready for change. So I feel like these people are secretly trying to change your life, okay? Take opportunities away from you guys. <laughs> or they think they're a better teacher than you. <laughs> Son and Virgo, okay? So it could be another Virgo, okay? Who the best teacher? <laughs> oh, shit, Virgo. This could be somebody that you'd be going to, you know, work mate or something you go to work with. So you reap what you sow. So you guys did something right. You took your time to build something. And now your family is trying to take their time to break it down. All right. Not going to happen with the 12th house and the moon card. We got three signs here Cancer, Aquarius, and Virgo. That is like y'all hen devils in y'all life as well. <laughs> Uh, we have self-sabotage. This is what they want you guys to do, but this person is sabotaging themselves. All right. Look at these people. They're fucking dead inside. Hey. <laughs> yeah. And they got some of them, they try to attack you guys' health. They could be spreading rumors, okay, with the health attack at the bottom. All right. Some of you definitely is a lover here that's secretly doing this to you, a Gemini in particular. All right. That's fucking with you. <laughs> Because you didn't want to fuck with them. So they're trying to figure out how they can sabotage you. But with the owl right here, I feel like you already know this, okay? Your sight is beyond the dark, okay? What you think people they don't think you don't know. All right, yeah, dependency. Okay, so it's a Capricorn. All right, this is a cutter. This is somebody tell you if you leave them, they kill themselves, okay? You got that type of energy that's around you, okay? Competing with you. White people, like, you know, if you don't listen to this message, you see it a lot on these... Um, depending on what type of platform you in, people be like literally threatening to kill themselves if people don't do certain things for them. You're like, what the hell? Let me report this motherfucker. You want to cut your wrist because I won't respond to you? Sure, nipple. No. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we have here six of one. Oh my God, we so victorious. Okay, I love that energy. All right, for all my haters in the background, say it loud. They are definitely secretly hanging on you, Virgo, because you've been victorious, okay? <laughs> All right, so Leo energy, okay, that's hanging on you. And then the Queen of Swords, yeah, because you cutting that ass down, okay? And we got the Hermit at the bottom, morals and values. So I do, like, off with their heads, okay? The Red Queen says. But we have the Queen of Swords coming up for you guys, your fairness, okay? Someone, a lot of people is upset that you're fair, they they really mad about this, okay? We got Libra, all right? Like, damn. When you gonna get karma? I don't know. These people are pathetic, okay? They. <laughs> uh, I mean, why are you supposed to get karma? What you do? I'm just trying to figure this shit out. All right, so somebody here practicing on you guys, but they reckless. It ain't working. I actually feel like these people, they help, their mental health is like deteriorating the more they do it. <laughs> Libra. <laughs> we have here, oh my God. Okay. So y'all, this person that did some type of love magic on you guys, okay? A devil in your life, been trying to bind you to them, burning candles, okay? Now I feel like this person have tried to do this and it ain't, uh, it haven't even worked, okay? Yeah, say it loud for the bitches in the back. <laughs> Her ratchet assholes. <laughs> ah, I was about to say something. I'm like, mm-mm. All right, so someone's doing work to have you so tied to them, okay? So some of you guys, the people that's definitely up there is mad because the, the, love, work, the love work is not working. We have candle magic, okay? So they say someone has been doing candle work on you as the flame burning energy increases. And they say here, 
reversals okay so someone has done magic work on you is trying to reverse the magic because they they feel that karma you feel the lightning and thunder thunder <laughs> so somebody feel that karma about to come on their asses so they're like oh shit wait 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 let me let me let me stop this before i get my ass spanked okay you guys rule justice okay somebody don't want that that karma to come back on their asses so i feel like somebody's reversing whatever they done to you all right the secret enemy <laughs> Uh, I don't feel like it's working, okay? But this person is trying to get some type of energy on you guys. All right, we got a neighbor. Damn, your neighbors? All right, y'all. Hey, neighbors. What's going on here? <laughs> Interference from lovers. We have user, nosy. Damn, who are these people? And one more. We have lusty vibes. Yeah, these people is horny. All right, that's doing work on y'all, or they desperate. But we have here, y'all got a lot of um, hand lovers that is loving on you. <laughs> and we have here, nosy user. All right. So some of them are definitely nosy and they like to use you guys or try to anyways. Okay. Or you got whip of this neighbor, you know, always coming over to buy sugar but or bar or something. The reason they was coming over there because they want to look at you or something. Are they nosy, being nosy or something, trying to figure out if you got somebody, Libra? Is you dating? Are you taking? Are you going through issues? Okay. And we got, uh, well, you got a lot of people that's trying to use you, a bunch of demons. Okay. They don't want nothing. All right. No matter what you do. We got lusty vibes here for the people that secretly um, is tied to you guys or secretly being doubles in your life. They secretly want y'all, all right, or want something, a relationship with you, sex with you. <laughs> and you're like, nope. So now this person has targeted you, this neighbor or these lovers, because they're like, damn, that ain't working. I got to do something else. We have a eclipse in Pisces, eclipse and damn, eclipse in Capricorn and sun and taurus okay so yeah you did something mind-blowing to these people all right you shattered their dreams okay um but these people free will like you like you can do whatever you want to right some of these people um that's demons in you guys life all right is uh what's going on here <laughs> I was about to say, what's going on here? Yeah, some of these people that secretly is demons in y'all life is, um, yeah, they try to mess up y'all free will. Somebody literally tried to use you and, and force something on you guys, okay, with the free will card, okay, Pisces energy. Like, how do you take away somebody's free will? We have here awakening, okay, so a lot of you guys are awake as well. And then we have here Eclipse and Capricorn. You chose a new direction because you realized these people was users and they was only using you for your talents and your ability to predict, to see, to conjure, whatever you guys doing, y'all good at it, okay? And then we got Sun and Taurus, your values, okay? Practicality, your money. Some of them were trying to use you because they knew you had a big savings account and they wanted some of your money as well. Or you guys are really good magicians and wishes, okay? Uh, witches out there, whatever. Y'all spiritualists and people know you're good at what you're doing. So these people that secretly like the money in y'all life, which is, we got three eclipses here. These are huge people in like huge changes that happen with these people. Like you just woke up one day and you dropped everybody like, fuck y'all. All right, we have dreams. Yeah, a lot of these people are upset that you guys are going after your dreams or chasing your dream. And you guys are solitary, okay? With the tiger being there protecting her and you guys protect what is yours, okay? Some of these people are, are upset that you protecting your love, you protecting your home, you protecting what what's precious to you. All right, with that fairy, something that's very sensitive. I feel like these people are very sensitive. So you know how they say a lot of people can't handle the truth, okay? The people that is like secretly devils in y'all life, you can't tell them the truth because they ask is too sensitive, okay? And like, it's you, you know? <laughs> Especially when people get to say something, you're like, what? <laughs> ah, so these people have, the what they do is blame you, Libra, for their own delusional fucking rent ports they have in their own head. All right. So they probably took, they cast some spells on you to stop you or break you and it didn't work. And now they're like, oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have did that. Maybe I shouldn't have lied on Libra. Maybe I shouldn't have put that report in on you because now they're losing everything they got. And so now they're looking at you like trying to be your friend to come back and make amends so they can reverse their karma. Okay, somebody doing that type of shit. All right, Six of Swords, Detached, Ace of Cup, Funness. And we have the Star Card, Hope. Yeah, you guys may gave a lot of people hope, but these people is hopeless, okay? 
but um yeah and you are like spiritually protected and guided you know the way and somebody like you know i don't know these people like <laughs> they like you and they come towards you and it's coming from a place of admiration but then they don't know how to accept the energy okay or you blinding their asses okay but they users maybe you guys are a star okay <laughs> they need help with their dreams okay how do you do it libra how do you get your dreams okay how do you build this all right what magic did you use can you conjure up some for me all right can i use your battery let's see that battery is going out <laughs> yeah so these people that secret devils in your life they're like damn i can't even do that shit. or i need a new battery they can ask me to borrow your battery and shit. It's like them type of people, but never charge that shit back up when they bring it to you, okay? You're like, damn, I let you use this shit, but why is it all the battery drained on it? Yeah, just to fuck with you. Scorpio, let's see. We got energy healing, okay? The work that has been done on yourself, um, the energy work that you have done is working. The negative, the negativity is, um, what did it say, dissipating? Theft magic. Someone is out to take something from you. This could be love, money, or energy. And we got light magic, okay? Someone is using spell work with good intentions to help you. So I feel like some almost similar to Libra's story, all right? This person um, tried to take something from you guys, got locked up or something, or, you know, they're in trouble for that shit. And I feel like now they can't do it anymore, okay? So uh, how to catch a thief. Um, also, you guys have somebody doing work for you, okay, that know you have somebody around you that doesn't have your best intention. That's a devil in your life, okay? So you have a thief amongst you, but you also have a white, um, a, a, what is it, a white witch or somebody that's working for you, praying for you, helping you out, okay, with good intention. But you guys have already done the work with the energy healing, so I feel like the devils in you guys' life want you guys to revert back into your criminal race or your past. So if you had any type of past and somebody knew about this, okay, they could be trying to use that against you and come back around. If you never did anything, it's not your story. You don't have to raise your hand. But it definitely seemed like that as well because it said energy work you've done to change your life, to re, uh, to uh, like get off any type of drugs, addiction, to deal with any body that had very in po not positive results for you. You left that shit behind. And somebody, these people here is watching or trying to figure out where the cracks lay so they can... Um, so they can reverse that, okay? <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. We have a store. We have plotting and scheming and friends and co-workers, okay? So these are people that you work with. Um, some of you guys, these are people that's watching your store or watching something you're building to see if they can break it down, okay? You got a secret shopper here too. We got interference from friends, plotting and scheming and co-workers. So a lot of you guys, it's people that's around you just can't um, um, trust that's friends and co-workers because they just intentionally have like decided they're going to try to make an ass out of you and it ain't going to happen the ass is going to be made out of them because <laughs> i feel like yeah talk about their asses but you know so some some battles are un unfair okay because some people <laughs> you just look at their asses like you ain't even worth my motherfucking time <laughs> look at your ass i ain't got time to be fucking with you <laughs> you got better shit to do <laughs> all right so some of you guys uh it could be people that's just yeah some of you guys these people that secretly devils want sex with you all right and also i feel like they upset because you have mastered that energy too all right sexual art sexual healing okay a lot of these people secretly want you sexually all right energy your energy is very healing you do root temperance the tempest card okay high vibrational earth angels all right so yeah you got attachments or people that is attached to the sex that you guys had that still or co-workers that sexually attracted to you you may or may not know about it interfering with your life okay your friends and stuff <laughs> with your, with your, a scorpio a libra fourth house leo all right yeah some of y'all somebody mad at your lover somebody loves you all right secretly hanging on that too um definitely relationships so you may be in a very positive relationship or not depends on your life okay but we look like you have a really nice relationship and other people on the outside they see this and get jealous okay and we have here uh rebalance so some of these people are like uh 
trying to figure out why you're not in a relationship or why you're not giving them a chance or something. Some of you guys, these people are, could be trying to mess up your relationship. Secret friends and haters and co-workers. All right, home where you living, okay, trying to teach you or try to input where you, they don't need to be putting their words in, like, oh, you should do this or that with your kids, or I wouldn't do something. That's none of your business, okay? Also, a lot of people that's like doubles in you guys' life is upset that you're like healing, you're compassionate, you're very caring, okay? You have a zest for life with that Scorpio sun and Scorpio moon. And I feel like you guys, like I said, you have done the work to put yourself back in balance. And these people are waiting for you to fall off that bandwagon, like, oh, they're going to revert back to their old ways or something. <laughs> Are they trying to? Or you just got a bunch of people that's the lying and stealing around you, friends that you can't trust because you like outshining their asses or something with this Leo, Eclipse and Leo. So we got Leo, Cancer, Libra, and Scorpio that is hanging on you guys. Yeah, you celebrated. All right, yeah, you just, yeah, because you walked away. So some of these people are upset because they walked away from you and abandoned you. And now that you want to come back into your life, you're like, I'm okay. When I needed you, you weren't there. Now you want me to come in? So it's a lot of these, they trying to explore and see what's going on. <laughs> and see what y'all got going on. We got Pisces, okay? The the Quest, okay? We got the Food, Gemini, okay? And then we got Three of Cups celebration. Some of you guys are celebrating, okay? Also, new things are happening or will be happening in your life or you guys have a new love. And if you are in a relationship that's very, like, sacred is what I'm, I'm getting here. A lot of people don't like that shit. All right, they're like looking at you like when they're going to break up, okay? Or they planning on how to break up your relationships because you're in a very loving relationship. All right, but yeah, they watching and lurking, okay? So they could be, uh, I'm getting like Instagram, Facebook uh, type of energy from that. The store card is showing up. A lot of people could be like scheming um, on y'all social media, trying to see who you dating, maybe trying to send your lover or people that they may think you're interested in, like download DMs and stuff and see what's going on with you. These people are so ratchet and low, ain't they? All right, let's see what else is going on. But they constantly watching y'all, friends and coworkers. We have here. Was that supposed to be Scorpio? <laughs> hey, how you doing, love? Scorpio, y'all got a, a lesions on y'all asses. <laughs> oh, we. So some of y'all, I went to Sagittarius, didn't I? Or did I go to Scorpio? Who knows? I'll figure it out. All right, so we have lesions and backfire and free spells, okay? <laughs> um, that's coming in. I'll probably be repeating this shit. All right, so somebody didn't dispatch a whole bunch of um, a demonic spirits on you guys, but it's backfiring. Somebody's doing work on you guys to stop success in your life. Yeah, I was all the way backwards. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I be reading the damn energy. These people all got me messed up and backwards. So I'll be cracking up. <laughs> you all messed up. We have Gifter, Grifter. I don't know who that is. Gay or bisexual, past job, domestic violence. All right. So somebody here is upset because whatever plot they had did to you guys is getting their ass in trouble. We on Sagittarius. <laughs> Sponsor. I wasn't sure if that was Scorpio or Sagittarius. All right. Damn. Why do we have so many sponsors out here and shit? All right. So y'all have a hen. Uh, y'all have a hen. Uh, thank you for that. Y'all got a hen sponsor out here that's secretly hanging on you guys. Okay. Um, they're not trying to let you guys grow or grow. It depends on what type of area you're in. So somebody's acting like your friend paying you on the back saying, good job. All right, but uh, damn, but it's coming next to domestic violence. But we got grifter and gay or bisexual. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then we have low vibes and past jobs, uh, past jobs. Oh, we so some of y'all, these people that is secretly like demons in your life. I'm trying to figure out if you like men or girls, okay, or girls or boys, okay. Um, they secretly same sex that like you guys, no matter your gender. All right, we have secret sponsors that's like uh coming after you guys we have people that has like uh domestic violent tendencies or someone that has been abusive to you that is a double in your life that's watching you that's trying to hack you that got the evil eye on you 
we have love vibes, okay? And I feel like some of these people are trying to get um, some type of information on you. And we have past job. All right, Aquarius, Taurus, and uh, Aries. All right, so some of you guys, these people are um, cowards. <laughs> so they do a lot of behind, um, behind the scenes shit with the courage card coming out a lot of people are offended by the courage that you have a crazy energy freedom loving as well as your grounding energy some of you guys are very um you guys love nature or you love to be free okay so you either <laughs> so you rubbing the taurus wrong the wrong way you could be rubbing a crazy the wrong way or an aries moon all right let's see what else is going on here yeah these people are like they like to procrastinate and so this is how you know because they be like, oh, I'm gonna come do something or I'm gonna buy something or I'm gonna get you something, but for some reason they never show up. Okay, <laughs> you're like, why is something always going on? But I feel like the 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 setup, the it's a backfires on them. So the procrastination works out for you, Sagittarius, more than it works out for the other people that is like here secretly hating on you. All right, so this is like a past boss trying to give you a bad review. And then, but the manager or the owner of the building actually liked you, so fuck it. He went to the manager and gave you a bad review, but the owner loves you, so the owner has the last say. So it don't matter who the fuck else like you, right? Yeah, this is these people, okay? Let me put a bad review in on you. Yeah. Yeah, so I was like, wow, maybe he's trying to slow you down, yeah. Damn, strong Taurus, okay? A lot of these people that secretly hang on you, Sagittarius, they're religious people, okay? They got strong values. Um, I feel like you like you spiritual, okay? But we have the hurry up front there. And I feel like as what is your energy, the ten of uh, ones, hardship, these people be trying to cause you a bunch of pain. But the page of swords, you are already aware of this, okay, that you got a lot of informatives, a lot of spy, a lot of people watching you, okay? Cause they don't believe in they self they don't have the courage to speak up and say the truth like you do all right courage people are upset at that all right your voice the page of swords what you say okay the ability to speak in hardship the ability to stand up for what's right okay the hairy up front the ability to stand behind what you believe in your morals your values your dignity yeah people are upset at that shit. so they even sent lesions these are like religious people like you're going to hell <laughs> because you believe in that. You're like, whatever, motherfucker. Bye. You going to hell. So these people are trying to um with and also tourist rules I savings account. So you may notice a lot, Sagittarius, that your money is held up for some reason because people are working on you, okay? And um, uh, or they trying to, but you always find a way out, okay? That should always backfire. You always get a solution with the page of swords or it's always information that's given to you that gives you an advantage over these people because you have done the work and these people have it so they procrastinators and they like to make you procrastinate and the fact that you run in circles around their asses is the fact why they upset <laughs> and they like sending all everything they got at you with the ten of ones baby baby give me all you got give, 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 give me all you got <laughs> eat that shit up and spit it back out at their asses okay these motherfuckers be on some bullshit. We spiritual gangsters in here, okay? <laughs> so that's who's upset with you guys, okay? So y'all co-workers are mad because you you doing a good job, okay? Or your or your ex cousin, family, or whoever you ex communicated on that ass with the ten of one ex bosses and stuff that wanted to work the shit out of you, and you said fuck this and quit. They mad, all right? <laughs> like I ain't doing that. Now you in business for yourself, all right? So now they lurking on your damn um. Etsy shop or whatever type of shops you got trying to figure out how you create that business, Sagittarius. Where do you begin? Hard work, baby. Shit. I built this shit from the ground up. He'll be on some bullshit, okay? Let's see. Capricorn. <laughs> All right. So y'all got somebody doing blocks on y'all, which y'all love. All right. Somebody you told, talk to him. Fuck you. I don't want to talk to you. And, um, instant karma baby so a lot of these people they begin instant karma fucking with you they like damn bam you ain't getting knocked on your head enough huh so <laughs> so um whatever these people that's doing something to you it's not working okay spirit like yeah they they got they got harmful thoughts about you guys they sending you guys negative thoughts in, and but boom it's going back but a lot of you guys what people are doing is they working on your love life or somebody's working on your love life all right so someone doesn't want you to be happy in love so someone likes to see you cry 
Capricorn tears. Ooh. Show me more. <laughs> Damn devils. Okay, so these people could be upset because they single. If you are in a relationship and somebody loves you, okay, or if somebody loves how you are, um, and you have somebody that's loving on you, Capricorn, a lot of people are so mad, okay? They're like, why you or something? I don't know, shit. People just tend to be obsessed with you, but instant karma, they will see instant karma for anything they do to you. So a lot of people, it's just like backfiring right now on their asses. <laughs> All right, let's get some like private eyes. Let's see who like behind the scenes. Some of you guys, it's a, a past friend of yours. Okay, that's secretly doing this. Okay, blocking you or try to. All right, we have friendly vibes. Wow. And then we have here new friend. Wow, Sagittarius and vengeful she don't want to come because she hateful i can't make this shit. so definitely a friend okay uh, someone you put in the friend zone you didn't want to talk to you didn't want to have sex with all right <laughs> um yeah wow okay and that is so crazy all right so a lot of these people are very vengeful at the fact that you got away okay you did you on to new things or new people okay so some, some of you guys these people are sending new people to you capricorn to us uh, so you can cap on the asses <laughs> i was about to make a joke <laughs> but we have friendly vibes and past past friends so yeah so y'all got a lot of secret hater friends around all right sagittarius is pop secretly really really hanging on y'all because they came out in a private eye deck okay they're keeping close to case files on y'all all right let's see <laughs> all right so whoever that sagittarius to y'all they wanted to point their asses out let's go <laughs> and we have here leo and we have here First house, yeah, some of them upset how you look, okay? I look good. Pluto, a lot of their asses, like, uh, see through and, uh, but like, they, like, I feel like these people are heat, heated in their seat right now that's, like, watching you guys' 10th house, all right? Like, somebody's pissed off, like, why are they not in the spotlight and you are, okay? Somebody must think they look better than you or something, okay? This friend is, like, feeling some type of way. We have Leo, all right? so the energy is flamboyant dramatic and passionate all right it focus on the importance of self-belief so you guys believe in yourself okay you guys have a leo moon rising morph no whatever you should somebody can't wait to be king and they trying to take your crown but their ass ain't even grown up okay you got somebody like scar around here somebody scarred and shit. first house what up what you see and the impression you give so yeah you rub people the wrong way you guys usually have an intimidating aura okay so somebody feel intimidated by you a leo all right we have here pluto okay so a lot of these people are underground secret motherfuckers that's like mad that the fact that you have was able to come from out of the ashes and build a career 10th house your achievements okay so yeah big shit. the grit and the grind some of these people is crazy okay <laughs> i got charlie angels you remember that grindhouse movie okay yeah fuck that <laughs> they ain't gonna whoop their asses okay we got self-love yeah some of them just don't love themselves some of these people um at least they like what i did all that shit to you capricorn and you still love yourself and you still not jaded like somebody they were aiming to hit the juggler when they went for you okay with that pluto energy someone was hoping you was gone you was out for the count okay they was they was counting down ten nine hey seven and you guys still end up getting back up with the you know rising from the ashes the ability to transform <laughs> pluto energy yeah somebody was counting y'all out your ass came back to life all right it could have been like literally coming back from death like somebody could have had a near-death experience okay these motherfuckers are mad yeah greed a lot of these people are greedy the moon a lot of these motherfuckers are here magicians pisces cancer capricorn all right, that's also hanging on you guys. These people in their feelings, okay? <laughs> Slow. <man. laughs> I feel like these people be going through emotions, okay? <laughs> Struggling with emotions. <laughs> anyway, so you see this shit. Cancer, the chariot, the moon. All right, moon magic, concealment. A lot of these people that's hanging on you guys are uh, hiding their magic, okay? they magic magicians and these people you feel like asses okay you can feel these people 
ugly toad. <laughs> so some of you guys, you know, you realize you kissed too many prints. Okay, you done came up out of that or these people. <laughs> Uh, you like, I would never talk to you. Okay, we got our preference, rightfully so. Okay, somebody like, what? You know, I thought I was cool. Now nah, you just little bro, a little little cousin, little friend. Okay, I feel like somebody's upset that y'all friend zoned them as well, for real, for real. All right, they're like, man, it's like that, Capricorn. Yeah, it's like that. So now they ass in the background on some bullshit. Okay, but it's not gonna work. That's how I feel when I be seeing these combinations. Oh, yes. Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> Let's see who out here. Your secret demons and devils and shit and goblins and ghouls and shit. We have competition. So y'all got competition. There's a lot of competition, though. But that's business, okay? Everyday work. Let's go. We have mirror magic. Wow, somebody's trying to actually be you, okay? And <laughs> they can never. We have here theft magic, Okay. So we have here, um, someone feels that they need to compete against you. That is the uh, motivation for everything they do. Someone envies you and trying to steal your essence and become a mirror imagine of you. And someone is out to take something that's yours. This could be love, money, and energy. All right, bandit. All right, silly bandit. So y'all got this person here that want to take your lover. Or are they trying to be you to be with somebody? <laughs> this is crazy. They can never. That's what I say. You can never. <laughs> These motherfuckers really trying to be you. All right. So mirror magic. Somebody must be looking at y'all social media with envy. We got a co-worker that just flew out. Okay. Some of y'all, this is y'all co-workers. <laughs> That's be competing with y'all. <laughs> oh, we have here. That's demons. We got a home. Libra. We got new love. A team. Damn. This motherfucker that assimilated a team on y'all. Okay. <laughs> team kick that ass okay but look we got a we got a libra that's hiding in on your ass okay that want to be you aquarius okay let's keep eyes on you guys some of you guys these people are in your home your area they could be competing with your house okay damn aquarius got a nice house nice furniture let me go get the same where you shop at aquarius How, i want that dress that you got on you know they <laughs> This person all asking y'all all type of shit. I want the new pair of shoes, that kick, that hat, whatever. We have a team. All right. This could be your whole, what they call it, the beauty squad. Okay. They jealous. Okay. I don't know if I want somebody putting makeup and doing me good if they ass is jealous like this. Okay. But this person want to be you. Let's see what else is going on. So a team of people that assimilated themselves together. All right. Because they just feel like you still in the, oh, you still in the spotlight. <laughs> You are the star. <laughs> These people are like fuck. And some of you guys, there's new people coming in, and you don't even know why they dislike you with the new love. I mean, yeah, you're like, what? You already competing with me. You don't even know me. Like, what the fuck going on here? You got tendencies, huh? <laughs> like, seriously, y'all. You got new love hiding around here doing shit. Cause these are people that's not your friend, okay? We have moon and Aquarius, free spirit, your inner wild child, Mars. Aries energy, okay. These people is like like to fight, okay. And we got eclipse and cancer and sun and Scorpio. Ooh, I yeah. So I feel like you detached, okay. Some of these people, um, they want you to be more involved. Some of these people are like rioting and shit around your home and shit. You like, damn, shut the fuck up. You might have to go outside and tell the neighbors to come down or something. I just getting that, okay. It's commotion. All right. And I feel like these people do it on purpose, but let you play the music. They could be calling the office and saying such and such and building such and such or room this and all that is playing the music too loud. And you're like, what? But they ass is doing that shit. All right. So anyways, but it's definitely these people that's like competing against you guys. It's because somebody here like like you. We got Sun and Scorpio passionate. All right. Um, some of these people want to understand some of these people. Yeah, definitely. You got somebody eyes. <laughs> you got you got somebody eyes on you, and somebody want that person, or maybe five or ten people want this person, and they want you. Yeah, yeah, you 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 already know this stuff. <laughs> Alchemy, huh? <laughs> yeah. So these people are upset because you got the key, you got the missing piece. And they're like, how you do that? How do you transform that? Or whatever, you know. These people are trying to figure out what you're doing. All right, so they want to know how you do it. How did you forge that knife? How did you put that? What is that one? Uh, is it um, 
Now, what's that movie and shit? I want to say Beowulf or some crazy shit, but I can't remember uh, what the movie where the Warriors was, where they had to do both um, to build that sword, sword to cut like through the shit, the samurai knife or some shit. Yeah, y'all got something. You know how to build something. These people are upset about that. All right, we had to pay. Yeah, and y'all got and y'all paid. Wow, damn, high priestess. Some of you guys, these are like spiritualists, okay, or people in the same whatever you guys do. And somebody in the same field and they got a whole team and they still not outdoing you and you just one man one woman okay and then drum rolls <laughs> somebody's coming in with a splash <laughs> coming back from the past <laughs> well we got 10 of, 10 and one sagittarius okay yeah they like damn you make that shit look so easy all right we have page of swords these people are all up in your business expecting your shit all right, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> ah, these people are ratchet, okay? <laughs> we have Six of Pentacles, Generosity. All right, so a lot of them like, damn, you know, I don't know. They're like, how do you do this? Like, fuck, I took everything and you still working, okay? I had the uh, Oregon Trail, okay? <laughs> I don't know if anybody remember that game, okay? So somebody got, like, making shit hard for y'all. <laughs> Like, this is crazy. So I feel like these people are going through a hard time and you are not, or you finding ways around it. Okay, loopholes here and with alchemy, okay? Yes, and it could be with a relationship, okay? You don't found the loophole with a relationship. You get two for one or you just got somebody here in your grips, okay? So you can be wild and free and maybe other people want to do what you you can do and they having a hard time doing that. Uh-huh, I'm sure my 80 babies. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But yeah, so whew. anyways, Libra is the hen aspect here. So Libra rules open enemy. So this person, they like right in your face doing shit. All right. So you probably know who this is. Like <laughs> quit trying, give it up. <laughs> give it up now. <laughs> All right, but it could be somebody's spouse, okay? They could be actually like doing uh relationship wars with you. Whose spouse looked the better, whose spouse cooked the better. You know, who yeah, like I don't know who the hell this is doing that shit. Like, yeah, let's go cook some food together. And then you eat they eat your food and versus theirs, and it's that type of competition. And waiting for your boyfriend or your man or your woman to eat the food, and be like, who do you like better? Like, that's some messy ass shit. I remember I was sitting next to somebody and um we was having a cookout too, and everybody had their own special dish and shit. And um, everybody liked my dish. They like everybody dish, and the guy was like, "Oh, is y'all gonna take that home? Cause I want more food." And the girl was like, "Oh, if they gonna do that, I have to make my recipe perfect." I'm like, "Okay, shit, whatever." She started the whole meal over so it could be perfect. Okay, <laughs> she's like, "It's not perfect." That's a this is that type of person where you like what? Ain't nobody going to be able to eat because you could have start the whole meal over, huh? <laughs> I got to get the fuck away from people like that. <laughs> All right, so Pisces, you got the evil eye on your ass, okay? We got candle, um, candle magic and sun protection. Yeah, people are weird, weird shit, and they be up there. So if yeah, someone envies you to the point they don't want you to succeed, I, uh, someone that has been doing candle magic work on you as they flame burn, their energy increases. And then we have here sun protection. Let the ray of the sun clear out any negative energy you may be feeling at this time. <laughs> this summer come on tomorrow. I'll be like, I don't care. I'll be like, shit. But then yeah, people be mad because you can do things they can't. Every sign have a special advantage to them. Okay. <laughs> so y'all got somebody here is a witch or they using this candle. Okay. Uh, magic on y'all. Somebody working on you. <laughs> and I don't got no time. We got proposition. Okay. So somebody has propositioned you or will be trying to proposition you or they have and you said no. Let's see why they mad at you. Okay. Yeah, what we got here? What the hell? We got intentional. Okay, so this person intentionally is coming towards you guys. All right. That gun is loaded. All right, so we have here a jokester, current lover, mistake, and unstable. And poor unfortunate souls. So some of you guys, damn, your own lover is on some bullshit. 
I don't got no time. We got jokester and current lover. Okay, that is secretly a uh, a demon in your life. Okay, so somebody has somebody is in, wow. Your partner competing with you, huh? Evil eye, evil eye. Ah. So they like um they want you compromised so they can take care of you. I don't know, but I feel like you guys either realize this person that you're dealing with is a big ass mistake or something. And you change you change ways or you did something somebody's unstable in their demon all right so so somebody is like looking at you and they getting the wrong ideal about something all right somebody's doing something wrong here because the mistake came with the foul so someone mistakenly fouled something or said something or did something all right or at least that's how they want you to think oh i didn't do it on purpose they asked did do that shit on purpose okay that's what i'm seeing here all right, so let's see. So anybody you courting in courtship with, all right, they they know a little bit of magic. They doing magic. Let's see the signs that's coming up. We have cancer. All right, so this could be your family, okay? Um, or you have a family with this person. Third house. A lot of you guys, these are unstable people online, okay? Fantasizing about you guys. All right, in the books, we have change of heart. Okay, Taurus, total change of heart. Uh, Scorpio, and we got Gemini. <laughs> Damn. All right, so Gemini twice, but look. So we have somebody here that you changed. Yes, yeah, change your heart. Damn. So somebody mad because you said, nah, I think I'll go a different way. Okay, and you still, form, uh, you still up in your decision or you said healthy boundaries. Okay, regeneration. Also, some of you guys, somebody is uh, was doing something where you couldn't regenerate, where you can't heal, or they keep taking you through this storm or trying to. This person is not getting it. Okay, they could be doing this on social media too. All right, so ew, excuse me. This person is like um, mischievous. Okay. Okay, so this person is getting information from you guys online. Gemini, Scorpio. Oh, yeah, because this person, they, okay, so they could be like talking to you guys behind a false profile, okay? Or this person, I don't know, this person might be doing some catfish shit. All right, because we got here love and we have here pride, okay? Pride before fall. But I'm getting a lot of social media stuff for somebody that's an evil demon behind this shit, okay? So somebody can attach to a lover that you with, um, currently fucking with you too. All right, they envy you. They, they envy your relationship. They envy the person that loves you. That could be the person you're currently talking to or somebody that, that wants to talk to this person. Let's see what else is going on. <laughs> so this person is reaching out to you guys or something. But they're not telling you who they are, okay? Taurus, we got Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini. Yeah, damn, what's up with this hardship part? This shit is crazy. We got, uh, yeah, because you guys got some type of victory. Like, everybody that's secretly hanging on people today. All right, so we got hardship and page of swords. So somebody's, like, watching to see, have you fell off the map? Or are you, on, are you dealing with any type of hardship yet, Pisces? Are you having a hard time, Pisces? Yeah, you got to eat your own food. <laughs> we have here six of ones and nine of pentacles. But I feel like every time this person see you or talk to you, keep getting better. It could be a Leo. It could be a Virgo. All right. But I just, I don't see you falling off. Somebody like, oh, how your business doing, Pisces? Everything good? Business doing well? You be like, what they got to do with anything? It's just the way this person tone is. Like, are you checking on my business because you want to invest in me? Are you checking on my business to see if I'm falling? Okay. <laughs> but it's like you guys are still doing good. Okay. So someone's secretly mad that you're still winning. All right. You got a contract. Are you winning a contract? Let's see what else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. I got y'all got to be careful with this person that's coming towards y'all. All right. I feel like somebody actually has ties to you. Somebody still loves you. And I feel like somebody, they've made too many jokes or somebody's trying to make you the tail end of the joke, but they should have never did that, okay? Because either you cut this person off or, and they mad at that too, that you don't talk to them anymore. And now this person behind the scene practicing magic, but they say, don't worry, because the sun is still coming out. Yeah, people are hella fucking nosy. All right, guys, bye-bye. Talk to you soon.